What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So I uploaded a video later to, earlier today um, which was a brand new special animation for a brand new Sugo Fest exclusive which was for this. Boa Hancock is the brand new Sugo Fest exclusive on JP and I lost my mind when I saw that this was happening. I've been wanting a new Boa legend for a while now. If you guys were long time viewers of the channel you guys would know some of the... Some of the stories behind some of the Boa Hancock legends um, that I've tried to get in the past, but this is very big because Boa Hancock is one of my favorites, and I'm really happy that she's finally getting a brand new Sugo Fest exclusive, and she's really, really good. And we're going to go through all the new characters in this video today. There are three new rare recruits uh, as well with Boa Hancock, so there's four new characters, um, and then there's some free-to-play units that we can quickly touch up on um, towards the end of the video as well. So, let's jump into it for Boa Hancock. Let's just start off with Boa, because I know that's what a lot of people are going to be looking for. So, this is the artwork right here, man. Hopefully, uh, don't get de demonetized because of this artwork, man. But, um, yeah, the artwork is mighty fine. And I, I think when this comes to global, I think I'll definitely be doing a bunch of pulls for her. I really, really want to get this unit. So, Boa Hancock, um, she is a Psy Shooter Free Spirit character. Pretty typical from what we would be expecting here. Um, stats across the board. These are with her Limit Break expansion, I want to say, which... Honestly, her stats are pretty bad after post limit break expansion. Like that's relatively low HP. Her HP, uh, her attack doesn't even reach over 2,000, which is very odd. Um, and her recovery, obviously, is going to be really, really good. But let's talk about her captain effect, right? Let's talk about what she does. So her captain effect obviously is in Japanese. I have a translation here on the side, so we can talk about it real quick. So Boa Hancock, obviously Psy, Free Spirit Shooter. Captain Effect will boost Psy characters attack by four times, or other types by 3.75. Already very good. Boosts Psy characters attack by up to five times, depending on the HP recovered in the previous turn. Um, this is very weird. We don't know how much you have to recover in order to get that five times boost. If you guys are very uh, well in tune with some of the older characters that have released, Legend NL was very similar in this type of way, where um, depending on how much HP you recover, covered in the previous turn you would actually get a higher multiplier um when nl was out i believe you had to heal like 10,000 hp in the previous turn in order to get a 3.75 boost so i hope it's not like 10,000. that would be a little ridiculous because you would barely be able to get that plus remember auto healing is happening every single turn which does count towards this which means that you're, you're basically going to be at least above a four times multiplier but it really depends on what the cap is like do you need to heal 5,000? do you need to heal 10,000? do you need to heal 15,000? and I hope it's not that excessive. Um, I think what they should do is make it around 5,000, maybe 7,000, around that would be perfect for me personally, but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, either way, it's going to be at least a little over four times every single turn, um, considering auto healing, basically. Now, as for the rest of her captain effect, um, she's also going to go ahead and um make the recovery slots beneficial to your team which is great and then also increases the chances of you landing on a recovery slot which again is going to be very good because it means that if you have you know your double ball hancock the chances of you landing on those recovery slots is going to be quite high which means that you're going to be getting more healing which means that you're going to be getting that five times multiplier much easier so so far captain effect is very good though i must say it's not perfect number one it doesn't have any hp boosting mechanics it does not have any damage reduction mechanics either um, so that's two things in particular that i'm not really the biggest fan of but at the same time it means that you know you can still utilize the megalo ship which is a very good ship your captain has to be either psi or int to utilize it and it does give you 10 percent damage reduction so that's like a really really good ship um i believe the brand new ship that came out on jp the x drake ship i don't know if it works with this does your captain have to be free spirit i think it works with it so the new x drake ship i think will work with this character and that should work pretty well but overall i do think the captain effect is good and I mean, it's, it's Boa Hancock. It's Boa Hancock, right? Um, so for the rest of her abilities, she does have a super type, right? So in order to get it to activate, you need to have an end of turn healing buff. Now, obviously, we'll talk about how that gets, gets to happen, but end of turn healing is relatively easy to do, especially with Legend Boa with her special. She will do that. And I mean, there's another character like Legend Chopper, for example, also a side character and does provide end of turn healing for multiple turns. I think he does. Um, so that's another option. So, her super type states you need to have end of turn healing active. So, obviously, we just said that, but it is crazy how good this super type special is. So, it changes your crew's slots, including block, into Psy Orbs and boosts the attack of Psy characters by 2.5 times for one turn. 
And remember, this is a super type effect, which means it does not activate enemy interrupts. So you get a full board of matching slots, no matter what, if you're running your full side team and a 2.5 attack boost to those characters that cannot be interrupted no matter what. This is absolutely crazy. Honestly, might be one of the best super type specials that we've seen thus far. In terms of adding damage to your team, this is by far the best super type special we've seen. And uh, remember, you can only use one of these per turn, right? Or one of these per run that you're doing. So if you have double boa, you can activate one on one stage, one on another stage. Um, but it means if you're running like really difficult content, like a GARP challenge, for example, you can only use it once. So you really have to be very careful as to when you're activating it but like in coliseums raid bosses treasure maps kizunas it's not going to make that much of a difference when you activate it as long as it's like on the final boss fight you'll be able to get this which is just absurdly powerful now she does have two crewmate abilities first one psi slots are beneficial to your whole team and completely resists special reverse as well also very very good now her special is crazy um we do need a little bit more clarification on what her special actually does because there is a new mechanic applied here and we need a little bit more clarification as to how it works but this is what we have thus far right so her special on a 13 turn cooldown reduces all enemies or all, all characters cooldowns by two turns already very good inflicts all enemies with the mero mero beam for 15 combo hits now what this means is is that when they when a character is inflicted with the mero mero beam um they cannot attack until that they've been hit 15 times so this is a very new mechanic if you guys would have seen the special animation that i uploaded um earlier today it actually has that in the video so right here, I actually have the special animation up that I showed you guys today. So when you actually launch the special, I'll see if I can uh, see when the special is launched because we want to actually talk about what happens here. Um, so the special is launched and you can see the enemies are now inflicted with this heart debuff thing on their actual um, HP bar. And it says for 15. So you have to hit the character 15 times before that, that character can then move again. So you can see that there is some damage that gets applied here to the enemy. And... Not all the characters get defeated here, as you'll see. So this character stays alive. And then you can see that that character still maintains, you know, uh, four hits until that character can move again. So this is a very, very interesting mechanic where you can apply this and the enemy literally cannot attack you. Um, so this can be really interesting if you want to try and get recovery slots to heal yourself back up or you need to stall a little bit But remember this does not reset at the end of every single turn So you can't technically stand there forever and just do nothing because you have to attack every single turn But it means that you could potentially get like four free turns of stall, which is pretty good, right? Um, this is a very interesting mechanic and we'll have to see further down the line how this is going to be abused But this does not count as a delay or anything like that. This does not count as a debuff from what we've seen so you can you can apply it technically if the character does not have like an or if the character has an immunity buff you should be able to still apply this which is super super interesting right very interested to see once again as i said how it gets applied to um you know to to, to, to in just certain situations just to see how it had all work um it's very interesting so you see boa activating the super type getting the attack boost the full board of matching slots and then obviously with um with all the mechanics that you've been activating you can just deal crazy amounts of damage here so boa looking pretty good thus far and then Boa does have a support effect where any Psy character it can attach to at the start of the final battle changes the character slot into Psy and then heal 4,000. It's a pretty good support effect that can be applied to a lot of characters there. So Boa, I'm loving it. I, I love this Boa Hancock. She is so, so good. But we have three other rare recruits to talk about. The first one is this Nico Robin right here. Artwork also looking uh, pretty schnazzy. So shout out to all the people out there that are big uh, Nico Robin fans. But Nico Robin, uh, let's talk about her real quick. So Robin is a Psy Fighter Cerebral. Captain effect boosts the Psy character's attack by 2.5 and then increases the chances of Psy orbs appearing. So not that great. Her crewmate ability will boost the HP and recovery by 50 for Psy characters. Um, and her second effect, will make all your slots sigh at the start of the fight so that again is very good especially if you're running like the full batch to get a full board of matching slots at the start of the adventure and her special on an 11 turn cooldown reduces five turns of enemy damage threshold and defense up so that's the blue shield buff and damage threshold and then also removes five turns of despair and changes the cruise slots to the same slot that this character has so it is it will require you to you know maintain her own slot because it's not going to be too good if she doesn't have any good orbs and then use her special um so again you could apply something like a vv support on this character to make sure she gets a matching slot at the at the, at the start of the um final battle and then use her special to remove defensive effects and then also give your full 
character's uh, sight orbs, right? So that's pretty interesting. Um, and then her support effect adds 12% um, HP and recovery, which is nothing great. So uh, Nico Robin is pretty good. So removing defensive effects, removing despair, and then changing the character slots to whatever orb she has. Pretty good. Okay, so now moving on to Rebecca, who I think personally is uh, one of my favorites or the favorite of the batch thus far, aside from Boa herself. So obviously artwork goes crazy. They're going absolutely mental with these artworks. So uh, as for Rebecca, her effects are as follows. Um, so she is a free spirit slasher and her captain ability will boost side characters attack by 2.5 and also giving them a 1.2 HP boost. Crewmate 1 gives 50 attack and HP to Sai and then resist, resist 7 turns of special bind for her second one. 7 turns is crazy because 11 turn special cooldown reduces enemy barriers by one turn reduces seven turns of special bind and for three turns boosts color affinity by 1.75 this rare recruit is nuts um being able to provide these effects dude because you can just resisting seven turns of special bind is just nuts because like the, the previous like best removal of special bind was like what time skip nami i suppose was probably the next best one i can't really think of too many other amazing special bind removers this is definitely one of the next best special bind removers that we have so this is definitely going to be like a must-have rare recruit in my opinion and then just giving color affinity on top of removing that and then also resisting barriers that's not like a huge one but that's still really good that they have that um, and then also a support effect viola riku and kiros five percent damage reduction against int and seven percent hp and attack so yeah i love this rebecca i think she is uh probably the best of the rare recruits that we've talked about but viola is also very very good so this viola artwork again looking uh, pretty schnaz uh, viola is a psi free spirit cerebral character and this character has a captain effect of boosting psi characters attack by 2.5 and then this is actually going to be going ahead and resisting damage by 10 percent this is damage reduction uh, on this unit as a captain crewmate one resist five turns of special bind and crewmate two if this character has a psi slot and you hit it perfect you keep it for the following turn very good and then her special 11 turn cooldown reduces attack down by seven turns and for one turn boost the slot effects of dex and psi characters by 1.75 and if you hit three perfects you get a two time slot effect boost in the following turn so it's interesting that it's a dex and psi boosting effect um, I don't understand the significance of that. I don't know specifically why she's boosting two colors when all the other characters are very centered around the Psy typing. I don't really understand it, but hey, she's still very good. So this is the orb booster of the batch as well as re resisting seven turns of attack down. So this is like really good, but it's also scary at the same time because what is, what's the content that's going to be coming out where this is going to be useful for, for resisting that much um, special bind and that much attack down. That's kind of scary to think about. And then just a very generic support effect. Uh, again, very similar to Rebecca. So those are all the new rare recruits coming out. And I think Boa is just immaculate i think she's really really good i'm so excited for this character and i'm really excited to see how gp players are going to get this character and use her for certain content it's going to be very very interesting but one thing i do want to talk about just very very briefly before we end this video is that there are two new free-to-play summer characters that you can actually farm up on gp as well so there's a brand new summer pudding and this summer pudding artwork also looks uh very very good so that's the artwork of the new pudding um as for what she does she's going to go ahead and boost side characters attack by 2.5 and give you 10% damage reduction against int specifically so not a good captain effect and her special will go ahead and resist uh, or reduce four turns of resilience on the enemy and recover four turns of despair and for two turns recovery in tandem are beneficial so again it, it's okay this could definitely see play it's pretty decent for a free to play unit I must say um, she's a driven free spirit unit which is a, a very interesting class combination which you don't see that often but um, yeah this character will probably see play just being a free to play unit that has pretty decent utility and multiple turns of beneficial orb enable is pretty good and then you have a brand new summer big mom so this is also pretty interesting right here um big mom is a driven powerhouse unit and for what she does her captain effect will boost psi characters by 3x 2.5 to all other colors 1.2 health to psi and re reduce the cooldowns by one at the start of the fight so that's a pretty good free to play captain effect um, for easy content and her special defeats all enemies with hp less than 100 times her attack that's okay it's really good against low hp high defense enemies it recovers four turns of it, it's relating to a recovery bind or a recovery down um, specific effect i don't know specifically what it is but it recovers four turns of a recovery redu reducing effect i don't know specifically which one it is um, and then it says when you have three or more yellow characters on your team you get a 3x chain lock and 2.75 otherwise so pretty good um pretty good free to play unit this big mom 
but it's all about the brand new uh that's it's about the brand new super type character it's all about the brand new super type boa hancock which i am super excited to see how gp players are going to be utilizing this character because uh she's looking mighty fine so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one today breaking down the new boa let me know your thoughts and opinions about all these new side characters coming out uh if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video